Good Friday morning. How you doing out there in YouTube land? Well, <clears throat> a couple days ago, I called uh, our good friend Rick. Uh, Rich, actually. I get Rich and Rick mixed up. The name's mixed up all the time. Um, he's the one that did our bathroom. And he does very, very good work. And I told him what I wanted to do. This is the old air conditioner. So he came over in about two hours. Uh, I'm estimating about two hours. He cut all the wood. He mounted the air conditioner. He took this out. This is the old Frigidaire 15,000 BTU that keeps shutting off all the time. And... Um, Him and I carried it out. He had, he carried the compressor in because it's heavy. And he installed the new one. High Sense, I think it's called. That's a Lowe's brand. And put it in there and would cut the wood, made a, a floor and everything for it to mount in and as you saw on the which you will see on the video I should say what you will be seeing in the video is close-ups of that sitting into the uh, window and it's got quarter inch hardware cloth to keep the um, birds from building a nest in there and probably bees also we don't want that so I'm estimating an hour and a half to two hours. And he worked hard, and he did most of all the work. Uh, and the only thing I got to do is finish the inside, which you will see. It's unfinished. He cut all the wood and fitted in there and everything to seal around on the inside, which, like I say, you will see on the video. So... Yesterday it rained, I couldn't do nothing. Today I might be able to do something. And we utilized all the wood pieces here. See around here, it don't stay dry enough to do any woodworking. These are shims that I had, uh, you know, shaved down from making things fit in the deck and stuff. And um, so we used two by fours. We used one on, on one side of the air conditioner shell and on, on the other side and he cut them all we've put them in there we had the wood so we might as well use it and uh, we couldn't use the the side wings that pull out you know they like the uh i don't know what they call them the plastic things that stretch you know the wings on an air conditioner so you had just enough room to get a 2x4 in between the side of the air conditioner and the shell of the original air conditioner here. Because the one that's in there now is a 12,000. This is a 15 because we didn't want to remove the shell from the window because it's siliconed in, galvanized sheet metal. It's a monstrous, monstrous job to uh, take out and it's much easier to just slide out the other air conditioner, the new one, out of the shell if I need to clean it. The new air conditioner does not have a separate shell. In other words, it's you have to take the whole air conditioner out, take the case off of it, and clean it like, the, like you used to do years ago. But I'm hoping that won't happen for two years at least before I have to worry about cleaning it. And by that time, I don't know where I'll be. Okay, so I'm just making this video let you know there, there was no video on this project because um, I didn't want to put Rich on the uh, on camera and I was too busy anyways working with him. Um, I had my chop saw out here, my skill saw out here and everything. And um, that was two days ago. 
and I did some more work on the inside yesterday. Now, as you will see, and I keep saying that because I'm putting that footage on the end, um, there's a snapshot that I took this morning of the inside part of the air conditioner. And um, it just shows the air conditioner in the window with the rough wood around it. And what I have to do is to finish caulking it. And I didn't want to use silicone because if I have to get the air conditioner out, it's going to be an SOB getting it out. So I had to use regular paintable cheap caulking, which when, when it gets wet, actually comes off. It's not the stuff I wanted to use. But there was only hairline cracks, spaces, so small that you could get a thick piece of paper in there. That's how tight it was. So I just used that and I'm going to paint over it. And then I bought some poster board from Dollar Tree, white poster board about a quarter inch thick and I'm going to use that to glue onto the wood on the inside to make it look nice and then I, I got some paint as I probably mentioned on another video I don't remember and we'll be using that so today we've got some sunshine again how long I don't know we seem to got to work between raindrops give you another look here You can see the plywood down there. It's the new air conditioner. We put the quarter inch hardware cloth in. And we left enough room here for any condensate to drip out and get air circulation. It's a shame to have to get rid of this. It was cleaned in 2022, but Leo and I worked on this circuit board in here, and these things can't be fixed. We worked on the circuit board in here, and a day like today, you don't need an air conditioner, but this would work perfectly. The hotter it gets and the more humid it gets, it just shuts off. And the readings go crazy in here. So, and there is corrosion here. I mean, I can gently push on this down here, and it pushes in. In other words, it's... Uh, getting corroded so it's 12 years old now and uh, I really hate to get rid of it so it's just another thing I gotta hire a guy to take away uh, the guy that took the wood away I hope I'll be able to get him to do it he charged me $25 to remove all the rotten wood that I had piled here and a, uh, the original stump cover wood out of here. I want to get them to, to take this and take this refrigerator box here, which originally I was going to use as a cooler. I took the compressor out because I knocked the hole in the uh, freezer compartment, which I'd removed, trying to clean it. And there's no compressor in the back anymore. So get rid of that and get rid of the big grill because these bottles, I was told, that 2009 is the last time we used it. They're not, you're not supposed, you can't refill them anymore. They won't refill them. I don't know, they look the same as the new ones. Don't ask me why there's a coat on them, I guess. So we don't cook out anymore. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that, get rid of the air conditioner. 
and get rid of all this wood but I don't want to do any of that yet until I do the railing and get rid of that wood so I need a couple of days of sunshine and mild weather um, I'm trying to get all this stuff done I'll take a walk over here let me see am I still recording yeah sorry about the movement there's a little green light that keeps flashing it's the only way I can tell if the Bob Love is still recording um, I can't work on heat and humidity uh, even when I was inside working on the uh, inside of the air conditioner after Rich left and I was doing the finishing on it he, he's the finished carpenter basically he does bathroom renovations and home renovations and stuff like that so he did all the fitting of the wood and everything which I could have done too it's a physically I could not lift that air conditioner the new air conditioner is supposed to weigh 75 or 80 pounds I couldn't even pick it up I'm so damn weak and useless it's pathetic I used to be able to with all you know a big effort but I used to be able to do it and and the old air conditioner weighs at least 125 to 150 pounds two people can carry it out but uh, not one not unless he's a monstrous guy with huge huge muscles which I don't have so I want to try to get all this work done because uh, I have a feeling we're going to have another rotten hot summer again. I see some green uh, moss growing on the shed roof. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, my wife doesn't even want me to climb a ladder anymore. I'm getting pains in my right knee. And I wasn't even moving. I was in the middle of, you know, sleeping and I was dead still. I wasn't moving. And I get a continuous pain in the front of my right knee. And my right knee has been giving me a lot of trouble since I did the deck. More trouble, I should say. Since I did the deck uh, Easter Sunday. That's when I worked on it. I take advantage of good weather. Whenever I can, so... Uh, right now it's not bothering me and it don't seem to, it does bother me when I get up and down stairs or I kneel down but the more I work and more I kneel down the worse it gets but why it's hurting me when I'm not even moving I don't know but the, the pain also started in my hip during the night and I wasn't even moving I was just laying on my right side so the older I get, the worse I'm getting. So this is a long this flap, and you probably don't want to hear all this, but I have to work whenever the weather is mild enough for me to do this work. Because when it's hot and humid, I feel like I, I can't get my breath. That's the way I feel anyways. You know, I can't breathe in humid air, you know. Cold and dampness, like today is, is gets damp for all the rain. I don't have any problems. It's when it's hot and humid, I can't take it. I feel like I'm in a steam bath, and I can't I can't breathe. I'm huffing and puffing, and just you know, I need cold air going in my lungs. So I have a fan going on me all night long, except on the coldest days of winter. But otherwise, I got a fan going on me all night long when I'm trying to sleep. And we turn the heat down to 65 at night and 74 in the daytime. And that's the way my wife is comfortable. She gets cold very quickly. So, anyways, that's the way it's always been. I can't sleep in a hot room. And it shut off the heating registers. The registers are in the floor. The heat comes up. We put a little cover over it, a little magnetic plastic cover that slaps on the top of the metal duct. Keep the heat out of the bedroom at night because uh, even at 65, it comes on sometimes. So anyways, 
I'm doing a lot of flapping here, but I figured I'd do this video. So, the work I got to do on the inside is I got the paint and I got that, I guess they call it poster board. It comes in different colors. Dollar Tree sells them. A good size sheet. And you cut them with a, you cut them with a, a single edge razor blade. That's why they're using a straight edge. And I think that's better than using the quarter inch Luan, which I do have. And then having to paint that white because this board is already white. And as you'll see on the video, which is at the end of this flap, if I ever stop talking, <laughs> um, there's two white boards on the left and right side. And that's the um, original wood that was in there for, on the sides of the main shell. Of the original air conditioner and on the inside of that you'll see the wood surround and that's what I got to cover up and that's what I got to paint I'm not in a hurry to do it now uh, wait till this afternoon so anyways I think I'm gonna end this video I wasn't going to make anything but what the heck yep so I really hated to get rid of this because when this thing cools, it really blows cold air. I, you know, it's perfect. It just keeps shutting off. And these things can't be fixed. I don't care what anybody says. They cannot be fixed. We went over the circuit boards. It's not that. It might be a sensor or something. There's so many different things in, on the board that we don't even know what it is on the board that's in here. You know. There's like 12 or 15 wires plugs in. We don't know where the hell they go. There's a schematic, but, you know, there's too much. And uh, I was, for, you know, for about a year, we've been living with this thing going on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. And my wife suffers without having an AC. She's got to have it. So... We're constantly, you know, when it's real hot, it keeps going off. It goes, you know, I mean, the whole thing, the fan, everything goes off. And it's not the reset button on the plug. Because that part is all right. So you, you, what you used to have to do is unplug it, plug it back in, and then it'll start up most of the time. But it'll run for a few minutes, and then it'll be dead silence. It just shuts right off. And the display goes crazy, you know. And it was chirping away, and I cut the beeper out of it when Leo was over here working on it. And it was working good after he replaced a couple of capacitors on the board that's in here. But as soon as it got real hot again, it was back to its old tricks again. So... We have to do that, you know, and that's just the way it is. I just hope the new one uh, works <laughs> because uh, I didn't try it out. It's still got the plastic on the the little sleeve that goes over the cord to protect the power cord. Uh, so we haven't tried it out yet. That would be a heartbreak if that didn't work after all this putting it in and everything. Well, <laughs> anyways, folks. Uh, I think I bored you in long enough. So, I think uh, we got a beautiful day today. I wish the whole summer was like this. Let's go and take a look at the thermometer here. I'm happy with the Bob Love W1. Uh, Doug made some videos on his cameras and stuff. But I'm happy with this. What do we got? Yeah. Now you see, a sunny day, 50 to 60 degrees, 65 maybe at the most. When it starts getting into the 70s, a little exertion, I sweat and I'm huffing and puffing and everything else. 
you know, so this is my kind of weather. But like I said before, the wood does not dry out in just one or two days. Matter of fact, you can have a week of sunshine. Let me cut that railing and the wood will be wet inside. So I'll never be able to put boiled and seed oil on the ends of that wood because uh, it's never going to dry out. So forget it. We'll just cut it, put it and butt them together. Call it good. It'll be here long after I'm gone. All right. I think I've chewed your ear off long enough. Okay, here are some quick videos and a snapshot of what it looks like inside. Now, inside it's very rough yet. I still got uh, some tape holding the, um, some of that plywood that's originally in there, which is permanently fastened in now on the sides. That is galvanized sheet metal, okay? And then behind that is the wings that you open up, like when you put it in the window. And then there's styrofoam insulation, and then there's quarter-inch luon. Well, those are permanently fastened in now, and they're taped in place until the caulking sets up, which it should be set up now, so I removed some of the tape, but I didn't remove all of it. So I got to finish caulking, I got to paint it and everything, and that won't be done on camera. So I'm going to end this video now, so stay tuned for sh uh, some video clips and a snapshot of the AC on the inside of the house.